Juan Caramelchi Lobkowitz was a Spanish bishop and scholar. A restless soul, a visionary rebel who shortly after the dawn of the Baroque fascinations, fighting the terrible plague of the mid-17th century, had the enormous merit of giving hope once again to Campania. Caramuel was born in Madrid in 1606 into a Flemish Bohemian aristocratic family. Child prodigy, he was initiated very young to studies which ranged from mathematics to science up to oriental languages, Greek and Latin. At the age of 15, probably also thanks to the profoundly religious climate that breathed in the family, he decided to take his vows, arriving at the Cistercian Abbey of Santa Espina in Castile. Having reached his priestly ordination at the age of just 21, Caramule immediately began to be given increasingly prestigious positions by virtue of the intellectual depth that distinguished him. Sent to visit the Cistercian cases in Holland, Scotland, and England, recording great appreciation everywhere, he was appointed Grand Prior of the Order of Calatrava. Even his politics began to appreciate his talents, to the point that Emperor Ferdinand III appointed him Minister of State and Vicar General of Prague. But the fatal encounter that defined Caramule's destiny was the one with the Bishop of Nardo Fabio Chigi, who would soon become Pope with the name of Alexander VII. Having sensed the enormous talents of the Spanish religious, he wanted him with him in Rome, opening the way to the purple for him. But Caramuel, a man of faith as much as of science, it therefore appeared clear how irreconcilable his positions were with the papal court. This cost him the Cardinalate nomination, despite the will of Pope Alexander VII. In 1656, therefore, Juan Caramuel was diverted to smaller towns, and here the fortunes of Campania began. When Caramule arrived in Campania, he found the town ravaged by the plague, reduced in the number of its inhabitants, emptied of any aspirations. Rolling up his sleeves, unshaken by the abrupt interruption of his political ascent, Caramuel resumed writing, once again dedicating himself to his academic interests. On the 9th of July, 1657, he was appointed Bishop of the Diocese of Campania, immediately setting to work. He strengthened the old typography founded almost a century earlier by Denigris and Filiuli, which represented his basis. From here, he published important works. In 1667, he published Logica Moralis. In 1668, Mitrica Poetica. In 1670, he printed his supreme work, Mathesis Biceps, Vetus et Nova, a work in which he presented the binary mathematical system, the basis for the programming and operation of computers. As soon as he could then, he retired to pray at the Hermitage of San Michele. Although later he was appointed Bishop of Vigavano when he abandoned this life in 1682, at the age of 76, on the occasion of his funeral, outside the Cathedral of Campania, designed by him, the inscription, World will fall down before a new Caramuel arises. Why so much heartache? Because in Campania, Caramuel left perhaps the most precious of teachings. Despite the storms of the world, Knowledge is the only light that gives hope.